What up, the DFXW channel, here to talk about last night, Royal Rumble, and it was such fucking bullshit. But before we start, I am the RG3 of wrestling. I am Kevin Nash's knee brace. I am Triple H's hairline. And I am joined by Boo Boo herself. Boo Boo, how are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good, FX. Really good. <laughs> My God, did you see this awful fucking pay-per-view last night? Unbelievable. I was in shock. I was in tears. Of how horrible it was. It was horrible. That damn Batista. It was damn Batista. And after all the other bullshit, the best match they gave away for free on the fucking pre-show. No way. With Cody Rose and Goldust. Versus, um, fuck, uh, the New Age Outlaws. Right. And my God, why the fuck would you give this away for free on TV? I don't know. Uh, on YouTube. You can go and watch the best match of this show. Yep. On Google. On YouTube. Unreal. It's unreal. Unreal. I, I, I couldn't believe. You end up getting the New Age Outlaws winning this match. With... I love the New Age Outlaws. I don't know about you. Oh, I love them. I love them. Great tag team. Oh, for sure. They really know what they're doing. They stand right up there. They know what they're doing. <laughs> yes, they do. But then you go to the actual... <laughs> the actual pay-per-view. And you get Daniel... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Daniel Bryan versus Bray Wyatt. And another good match. What a, I don't think the tag team match was better. But this was a good match. They both stayed in characters. Bray Wyatt ends up winning. I love Bray Wyatt. I love Daniel Bryan. Good match. Yeah, that was good. So then you get... Two! My guy Brock Lesnar versus your guy The Big Show. And my guy Brock Lesnar just destroyed Big Show. Yeah. How did you feel about uh, your guy Big Show getting the shit beat? I all? was not happy with that at all. That, I was not happy with that. You get Brock Lesnar winning. Big Show goes home crying. Mm -hmm. Thank goodness. You get the WWE Championship match. Your guys, actually, who are you cheering for in this match? It was Randy Orton versus John Cena. I gotta stick with my John Cena. For the Unified Championship, which they're calling the WWE World Champion, why does Orton, though, still carry around two belts with him? The whole point was to unify him. And he's still walking around with two fucking belts. Yeah, I know. That, what, what's he need that for? Yeah, it's actually... You know, really. And this was an okay match. There were a couple things wrong with it. During this match, did you hear... Any Randy Orton or John Cena chants? No. Nope. Not at all. Not a one. They were chanting for everyone else. They were chanting for Randy Savage. Yep. They were cheering for uh, Popcorn. Mm. I, I think I even heard a um, FXW chant going on. Did you? Did you pick yeah, that one Yeah, you up? know what? I really did in background. Yes, I yeah. did. Yeah. Yes, I did. I think so. I didn't see the sign now, but... I think I did see a sign. Oh, really? All the way over to the left. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, I... I put the tweet out there early enough, so uh, hopefully... Okay. Hopefully someone's yeah, seen some, it. Yeah, somebody's seen it. Seen it because i seen it. Okay. But there was a no-DQ match, but they still had the referee get knocked down when Orton used the title belt. Didn't anyone else realize, hey, this was no-DQ, why did we have to no. knock down the ref? Or did everyone else forget? Did you remember that it was no I DQ? I did forget. I got to admit, I did forget. Oh, okay. Because I didn't, and I thought it was fucking shit. Okay. But you end up getting Bray Wyatt interfering, helping Randy Orton beat John Cena. Yeah. It, I'm happy Randy Orton won, but why the fuck Bray Wyatt? Right. I, I don't understand that either. Something's wrong. But then you go to the Royal Rumble, and this is the one that really pissed me off. Me and you watched it together. You seen how mad I was getting throughout this whole match. Yeah. You have CM Punk start. You have Steph Rollins number two. 
This Rumble, and I don't care what anyone says, it was shit. I'm not even going to talk about the whole, whole thing right now because it's not worth my time. Bottom line is, Roman Reigns got 13. I actually, no, I think it was 12. 12 eliminations by himself. How did you think Steph Rollins did? Yeah, Roman Reigns, my bad. Roman Reigns. I think he did okay. I think he did okay. He held himself up high. He he did okay. Not bad. He got to the final two with Batista. Batista ended up winning. To me, Batista looked very bad in this match, but what did you think? He did win, but to me, he didn't look that good. It didn't look that good. There was something not right. Something, you know, something not right. But yes, he did win. Yeah, and that's it. I think he just got lucky. Exactly. Well, the whole match is lucky Royal Rumble, but ah, uh, overall, did you like this show? I was, was it a good pay per view or a bad pay per view? I've seen better. I it was okay. It was not bad, but I've seen better. I'm glad I seen it. I enjoyed it. The company was great. <laughs> I think that the only thing I enjoyed was the company. Because this was a fucking horrible fucking pay-per-view. Yeah. The worst pay-per-view of 2013, even though it's 2014, I'm still going to put it in there. This was the worst pay-per-view. It will be the worst pay-per-view of this year and last year. Yeah. It's not definitely, it's not on the top five. I'm happy you enjoyed it. I, Maybe you enjoyed I it because I kept on yelling random stuff throughout the whole thing. Yeah, you kept it going. Like I said, the company was really good. I enjoyed the company. So that's Boo Boo. I am the RG3 of wrestling. I am Kevin Nash with Knee Brace. I came in like a wrecking ball. And till next time. Enjoy it. Thank you very much, sir.